Hello everyone, wherever you are in the world, whatever time of day it is for you, hello, how are you doing? Welcome to Know Your Planets, my name is Cameron O'Hara, and today we're going to be looking at the Star Wars planet, Concord Dawn. This is an interesting planet to me, just because, well, look at that, look at that, that's insane! What the heck did the Mandalorians do to this planet that it came out to be this way, right? It's just nuts. It's beautiful, it's striking, it's easy to remember, and man, is it devastating to look at. This is not the Mandalorian homeworld, but it is a planet or system that is or was under control of the Mandos, and uh, something happened where just the planet got blasted out into space and turned into all these uh, asteroids, uh, or moons, I suppose, floating around the planet. I'm surprised that they, it's got this pair of moons down here still okay, despite all these big hunks of debris floating around there. Some of them are, yikes, look at that, some of them are even bigger than the moon itself, and I want to get into this in a little bit, but let's look at the planet and its history a little bit first. The planet was devastated during one of the hundreds of wars it suffered, with roughly a third of its mass blasted out as asteroid-sized debris in its planetary orbit. I should also point out that this is the planet uh, where Fen Rao uh, came from, and also it is the home of the bounty hunter Rako Hardin, who is in the Clone Wars. And most interestingly to me, this is also the planet that Jango Fett says he was from. Jango Fett claimed to be born on Concord Dawn, but the Mando government regarded him as a renegade and a pretender, and they said that he probably stole his Mandalorian armor from, you know, their planet at some point. Some evidence that supports this is the materials that his suit is made out of. Fett's armor is fashioned from a durasteel alloy, while most Mandalorian armor was made from Bexar, a really strong material. It's a Mandalorian iron that can deflect blaster fire and even glancing blows of a lightsaber. This is why you see in the Mandalorian trailer, the shots just kind of ricocheting off of the Mandalorian's armor. So perhaps he didn't even steal this armor from uh, the Mandalorians. He might have just fashioned it based on their design out of different material. It's one thing I love about Star Wars is all the little details. But I want to talk about this planet here a little bit and let me say up front I'm not saying this I'm not gonna talk about this because I want to detract from the Star Wars universe or anything like that I love Star Wars and its complexity and its depth and I don't really care if it's scientifically accurate this planet as I said lost a third of its mass so could a planet actually look like this so I went to NASA and I asked them the question actually no I didn't I just googled it and NASA came up but thank you, NASA. This is for kids, by the way, folks. Maybe I've got kids listening. If I do, that's great. Thank you, kids, for joining. Why are planets round? The short answer, a planet is round because of gravity. A planet's gravity pulls equally from all sides. Gravity pulls from the center to the edges like spokes of a bicycle wheel. This makes the overall shape of a planet a sphere. So this is what they're talking about here. The planet is pulled together into itself because of gravity. Everything is pulling down towards the center right here. Which means that a planet just could not come out looking like this, right? Everything is pulling down towards its center, right? So that means that this stuff should all be kind of collapsing into the center right here. It's interesting to look at like how close all these asteroids here are also. It's like they're kind of floating, even though you would think that the atmosphere is still like here? Or is it here? Where's the atmosphere of this planet exactly? That these rocks can exist so close to the planet's surface, but still be, you know, floating around in space. It just doesn't really make sense. And also, one more point, these big giant asteroids around here, they look to be bigger than the moons, yet they're not spherical, which violates the rule that we were just talking about, that bodies in space large enough will form into a sphere because they're big enough to have enough gravity that the gravity pulls everything in to the center so it becomes a sphere-like shape. 
like these moons over here. And that being said, I'm not saying this to detract from the world, the universe of Star Wars, the galaxy of Star Wars. That's not what I'm doing at all. I'm just really interested because this is a really cool ass looking planet and I was curious to see if this could exist in our galaxy with our understanding of physics. Who knows what technology they have in Star Wars? This isn't, this hasn't all been explained to us, so perhaps there's some sort of, you know, technology or chemical or something that was present in this planet's atmosphere or something that the Mandalorians on this planet constructed to allow the planet to, you know, maintain its atmosphere and maintain an almost spherical shape despite having a third of its stuff being blasted out into space. Now, kind of on this note, uh, I wanted to look at Star Killer Base. And also, the shape of this planet is curious to me as well. I wonder, I'm no scientist, let me, I should have said this from the start, but I am not a scientist by any means. I'm purely an amateur and an interested person. But I wonder about this planet as well. Could this planet, because look at the size of this trench here. It just I, I just realized it doesn't even go all the way around the planet. It stops right here, you can see. And there's no indentation on the back side of the planet. Gosh, that trench is huge, man. You can't really see it in this photo, but in other photos of this planet, it has the atmosphere kind of extends around the planet and is still curved even at the trench point as it goes around like that. It doesn't indent at all as far as I could tell. Anyway, I'm just it's just really interesting to me. It's a really cool looking planet. It's amazing that the first order was able to con struct something of this size. That's all the time we have today for Know Your Planets. Thank you for watching, and it's occurred to me that I don't have to focus exclusively on Star Wars planets. If there's a planet from another franchise that you want to see, Star Trek, or maybe something even from uh, No Man's Sky or whatever, or if there's a planet in reality that we have actually discovered that you would like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. I love space, I love planets, I love talking about this stuff, and I love Star Wars. So on that note, may the force be with you. Peace out!